Although what you see on the screen is completely outmoded and clunky by the standards of the industry in 2011, this was one of the better flight simulators for console gaming in its time. Its polygonal, choppy design should be overlooked for the intricate attention to detail on state-of-the-art fighter aircraft in the 1990s. Shout out to Mohammed in Qatar for his contribution to the CGR cause. Look at the EA games of yesterday and you'll have an understanding of how they got to where they are today. F-22 Interceptor is a daring project for its time. You pilot the advanced tactical fighter F-22 Interceptor, an aircraft that had not yet been developed, so EA used a plane based on the YF-22 Lightning II. But let's be honest, are you really going to know the difference? I doubt it, unless you may have been a fighter pilot in Desert Storm. There are over a hundred missions for you to complete, all taking place in the USA, Korea, Iraq, and Russia, and they all involve pretty much what you see here. Finding targets and shooting them down. Once you're done with your mission, you make a landing. Pretty simple and straightforward. I like the detailed explanations of the mission you get from HQ. Before each mission begins, you're told what to do on screen and then turned loose. Some missions will involve base defense against recon fighters. Others require you to search and destroy an opponent's base. Frankly, most of the missions are super easy due to the limited intelligence of the AI. Another feature I found creative were the visuals you get from approaching blackout from too much g-force and even sun glare as your screen slowly tints yellow. Here's a mission I failed epically at, refueling. You're required to slow down your aircraft in order to hitch onto a refueling tether, but I couldn't catch up to the damn thing, so I hit the throttle at full and paid for it. If you've conquered the main missions, you can create your own by selecting the number of enemy aircraft you'll go after and the theater you'll be fighting in. Okay, I'll admit, I got bored rather easily after watching the same sprite appear on the screen every time I blew something up, but I suppose that's just a sign of its age. F-22 Interceptor was a 1991 release that may have entertained my older brother, but it won't get your little brother off of Black Ops anytime soon. Hmm. <laughs>